So we have got so uh, if you could see my uh, build definition, which is a DFS twenty fifteen. Rather, I would say VS for twenty fifteen build definition, where I have a Azure VM. So this is my Azure VM, right? So this is a very fresh Azure VM. Well, I have configured this Azure VM with. Uh, Windows with Windows Remote Management service, so and with the protocol as HTTPS protocol. So that's the only thing that I've done is, uh, yeah, this, these are the, the major things I've done. Pretty smaller, minor things uh, apart from this. So this is a very fresh VM. There's nothing installed. Uh, this by default comes with Visual Studio 2013 some community edition, right? So if you could see my uh, build definition, so this is how it's been configured. Uh, uh, so I have got a list of tasks that are available here. So if I click on this add, add tasks to my build definition. If I could scroll down, so I'm building my app, which is checked into my team audition server. And this is a coded your project uh, with one dummy test case associated to a PFS test case, right? And I have used this uh, task called Visual Studio Test Deployment. So, uh, but before that, what I did was uh, in the machines uh, I have added that VM which of my Azure portal over here with the uh, FQD and fully 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 qualified domain name and with the password. So this is how I created so I click on new it provided some name. It's respective Password here, password, password. What is the protocol that you want to connect over here? The HTTP, HTTPS, HTTPS, requirement. Over here, you need to pass your in names, either either a public IP or fully qualified domain name of the Azure VMs. So this is how you can keep on adding multiple machines. So I have got this uh, machine group in Autora. So let me come back to my update. And you know. So, okay, so in that, so I have got it here, provided a mission as the auto run, which is my mission group. Uh, provided my username and the password and the protocol, which is HTTPS. And I have set up, it has interact the process to run automatic test cases. Uh, for the sake of demo, you can actually create a variables so that you can uh, mask your password so that no one can see that. Finally, I had used this uh, task called run functional test, provided the DL name. So you might be asking, how does this DLL comes to my Azure VM? So for this thing, I, have, I could use this task called uh, either Windows Mission Copy to copy my DFS output binaries to the Azure VM or you could use Azure File Copy since the VMs are the Azure VMs uh, Windows Mission File Copy doesn't work properly so I've used this uh, Azure File Copy uh, so it says that what is the source file that you wanted to copy so I would say the whole project and what is the subscription that you are using? So if you go to manage tab, you can actually use a Azure Classic subscription file to connect to this your VM with the manage set, with, with certificate, with uh, storage account, the list, the list of subscriptions. 
operators. So he was uh, here since it is an Azure VM. I have just created this VM and I have provided my uh, classic storage account and all that stuff. Okay, so this is my uh, storage account and this is my VM this thing and the username and the password, the destination folder to deploy all of my files. As of now, I'm not doing this thing because of I already used it and my files have been copied to the Azure VM. So if you go to my C drive and the test folder, right? Uh, C drive test folder, these are where all my files have been copied. Right? Uh, if you could come uh, back to my template, right? So this ensures that your process uh, is interactive and finally this ensures that the DLL which is available in this uh, deployed folder will execute. Actually, what are the test cases that are associated in this DLL, what are uh, available in this DLL would get executed. So I'm just quickly triggering this pin there, just say that. So, So I have given root as my password, which actually copies the project in my team foundation server team project. So as of now, which is not required in your case. So you may actually go and select which project you wanted to build. So actually see the list of tasks probably over here you can in integrate your task like copy your files to Azure VM task so that it copies this thing as of now I have already uh, copied some files so I'm not using this task so this is a, 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 a file so as of now in my case I have already I have, I have already a test agent available so basically since it is an Azure VM so it actually downloads a test case from this particular URL so it gets installed and uh, and, 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 and command prompt of uh, saying that this uh, particular machine is uh, running under interactive process uh, this basically the service is running as interactive process so if you had uh, worked on configuring the build agent as run as interactive process you get to see a command prompt just similar to that one uh, if you could observe very, uh, the task very uh, carefully, uh, it actually seeing whether the test agent is already available. If it is already available, it just configures. That's it. So basically, it downloads the test agent and configures. Unlike uh, in 2013 and 2012, uh, we don't have uh, like you know controller like we, back then. We used to have test controller and basically a whole test ring setup. But whereas in 2015. Basically, we use 2015. We don't have a constant call controller. Agent itself manages everything for us. So, you, can you see here, right? Since it's already installed, it's basically configuring. Uh, if I could uh, move my screen, and if you observe carefully, you would you would be, get to see a prompted uh, command prompt it says that uh, it's been configured. So, just wait for a few seconds. Uh, actually, I've been working on this requirement for past uh, few hours, and I thought. Uh, it would be very helpful to, for the people out there. So I thought making this uh, thing and sharing out online. So, okay, can you see here, right? It's uh, it's, it's configured. Uh, see my screen? Can you see that this is a, this is a command line window that got prompted up task in g.exe. Which is, run as a, run, which is running as an interactive process. So it's similar to our 2012, 2010, and 2013 build agent as a run to run as an interactive process. So similar to this thing, you get to see this thing. So it, it, I have got only one test case uh, here. The test case ID, some some XYZ, I can't remember how to remember this thing. So it looks for this DLL, what are the test cases that are associated in this DLL, and runs. So this is my this thing. So if I would open it up and just to see, uh, uh, 
uh, this very basic uh, calculator application. So can you see here, right? Uh, this has finally popped up and your test case runs here. So this is altogether a new concept that has been introduced in 20. Can you see it generates a TRX file in space file location? Uh, you can actually write a, a task right after this thing which reads the TRX file and sends out a mail to your team. Right? I'll be working on that thing in probably my next video. Uh, can you see right the test has been passed and uh, can you see right probably you can go to your test app and uh, you get to see uh, 2015 has uh, VS4 2015 has got a very uh, cool uh, uh, user interface for all your tested can you see right very recently have run this test run uh, right and it says that it has been passed so I guess that's all that's all for the day I believe that uh, it, it, it will be of great help for you guys. Thank you so much.